Okay, folks. Second attempt. Rookie video guy here. This Terry. TNT's repair. Um, what we're going to try to do today is uh, I'm going to show you changing the lift cam on a Futura 2920 sewing machine. This is going to be my third video on doing this. I did a couple others that I'll try to merge all together. I, I'm really very new at this. I have a pair of video glasses that I bought to try to do some of this stuff with and see if I can help out that way too. Um, the lighting's pretty bad. I know you're going to criticize. The frames are going to probably be a little jumpy, but hopefully I can make it presentable enough to it provides some sort of help anyway. There's also manuals that you can get from my website that uh, will show you how to do all this in detail. But having a watching somebody do it too is another story. Anyway, let's get started. So that's what we're going to replace. This one's broke. What we're going to do is take the pan off. Now I got to make sure I get my head angled right. But we have one, two, three, four peg screws. Then there's one, two, three pan screws. Take those all off. This one gets to stay. Once you get those done, you can pull your pan right off. We'll set that out of the way. Now I have a wooden block here that I use to jack the machines up with because like on the touch and so when you set the machine back up this equipment in here normally will engage the tabletop and it'll activate your bobbin winder and cause you nothing but grief. So anyway, we'll set this down, jack my machine up a little bit there. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to get my face right. Okay, now we're going to take the top covers and stuff off. Sorry if I put my finger in the way. <laughs> I, I know this is going to be pretty sad. So anyway, we have one, two, three. And I don't know if you can see down in here, gang, but there's a screw here. Okay. So we get these out. This comes off. No trick to getting the screws out. They're normal. This piece just pulls straight up. And I don't know if you can see down in here, but there's a little clip, and I'll send a video a picture. But there's a little spring plastic. Just turn it and turn the lever counterclockwise, and it then lifts out. Okay. And then you can just reach in and snap the top right off. There is a snap pin here and here that kind of secures it so we'll get that out of the way all right we'll pull the needle plate off now mine has a pin here that secures this plate so we'll take and we're just going to tap it down now some of them will have a spring piece in here you can just reach in and twist a little bit and then pull your plate right off now, we lay the machine back down. Now, factory parts will have a 1 16th Allen in here. Aftermarket parts I have found have liked to go to metric. And so you'll need a 1.5 Allen metric. And we'll take, loosen that. I hope I can loosen up now. Shoot. There we go. Because I've already put a new one on. This is the old one. And what you want to do, then we'll push this lever on out and out of the way because normally it gets gummed up along this shaft. And so you want to clean that. Now, when you take this off, hopefully it didn't shoot out, there's going to be a spring up in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you don't want to lose this little spring. It's obsolete. Normally they go flying. So don't lose it. Alright, so we've got that all apart and it's out of our way. We're going to put the new cam on. 
what I'm going to try first is I'm going to take the broken one. I'm going to take my 1 16 Allen out of one and I'm going to take this stupid metric out of the other one and see if I can swap those. Yeah, it's threading right in. Good, 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 good. I'm going to put this other one in the broken part because I'm finding these metric screws are just kind of funky. There we go. I'm getting these switched out to my 1 16th. Uh oh. Why are you working with this tiny staff? Well, that done it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not now. That thing's too tiny, I can't see it. It's probably not a good idea. And I, generally I wear glasses too. So I'm trying to do this in the blind. Turn it out. There we go. There'll be a lot of editing on this one. Okay, I got the screws in. I've got those swapped. And what we're going to do is put our spring back in. We're going to put the lift mechanism back in. You want to engage that tab with the hole in the gear. All of it. So it moves up and down like so. And then we're going to put our piece back in. And we're going to slip our new cam on. Okay. You want to put it in the lock position, standard sew position, which is there's some little indents on this cam. And so this would be like the home position. This is the lift. This is the stop. You just want it to lock in this little lower spot. That's for general sewing area space right there. I hope you can see that. Okay. So using this hand like this, we're just going to snug this one up for the moment we'll worry about adjusting it here in a minute we just want it to get in position so it don't fall out okay bring this back up because this is where it gets fun this is why I like using my Allen driver and we'll get into the screw. Okay, the way to do this. You want to position the hook piece. In so position. 
this little arm here will be even with the hook and you don't want this piece coming it just or a little below the surface of the hook we don't want it sticking out yet and this is going to be even with the rail of the hook so I got a little bit more to go yet so you hold both like that while you're finagling it get that locked over like that we'll secure that double check that looks pretty good that looks pretty good you engage it what happens is that little arm then goes underneath the bobbin case and into so it allows the thread to be drawn through the number one slot so now we're taking tighten our other little screw secure it you don't need to ramp them down but you don't want them coming out and so when it engages you can see how now the pin is lifting up in there and there we go and that's pretty much it okay at that point she should be good to sew thanks i hope that helps you a little bit with putting on a lift cam i know it's a poor quality video and they'll hopefully get better in time and i'm going to get a better pair of glasses that don't have that have a uh, these are 30 frames per second and i'm going to find a pair that's 60 frames per second and hopefully we can improve and get some better lighting and uh We'll get some more stuff too on that clip up here i'll just go back up this is the piece here that secures this and what you want to do is push that forward a little bit to lift this off okay we'll get into the rest of the machine some in different areas as we go but i wanted to see how this turns out and i know there's going to be complaints that it's poor quality but that's the way it goes for a beginner However, 30, 40 plus years of fixing Singer machines. Worked for Singer for 10 years during the era of these babies. So, I think I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks.